Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today we're going to find out if I'm crazy or not. I spent 450 bucks on 24 or 25 books in an online auction. We're going to unwrap them here, see what I've got. Um, I think easy to make my money back, but we'll see how much I make and uh, you know, see if I'm crazy or not for putting that kind of money, about $18 a book in these. I didn't see them. Saw them online, saw them with the, you know, the photos online and, and ordered them. So fees and everything, uh, shipping, 450 bucks here. So let's, let's do some unwrapping, see what we got. Um, you're, you know, I've seen the photos, but I haven't seen them, seen them. So let's just, they were wrapped nice. They did a great job. Um, wrapped them in plastic, uh, kind of like, kind of like Christmas when it comes in, right? When you get your Amazon boxes, but. In this case, online books, online auction books. So this sale was all about racing cars, uh, motorcycles. So it's definitely that nonfiction uh, interest. If I can get them open. Again, 450 bucks. So here's the first one. It's a book on Tuning for Speed, okay? I think this book here is about, um, I don't know. This is probably a 20 to $30 book. Looks like it has a little bit of edge wear. So we're gonna call this one maybe 20 bucks. Tuning for Speed. All right, let's see what the second one was. This Vincent. Oh, this is the 50 years of the, of the mark. Uh, Vincent Motorcycles. Um, this is, um, I think, $40. $40. It's, I've seen this one sell for $40 bucks online, so we'll call it about $60 bucks there on two. All right, another Vincent Motorcycle book about the Snarling Beast. Uh, this one, uh, about $35 bucks online, this edition. So another really great condition here. This one is, this one's in real nice condition. Love it. All right, more on the Vincent motorcycles know thy beast let's see I think this one was um, yeah this was about a $35 book online this edition there's some I think there's another earlier edition that's uh, worth a little more but that's uh, that's pretty cool another 35 all right now this was a great one this is one that that, that caught my eye this is this uh, Phil Irving book on man it's got such a nice protective cover on it black smoke and this is a 90 to $100 book. And man, this thing is pristine. Oh, you gotta love it. You just never know when you're getting stuff when you do an online purchase like that. You know, they put some very vague descriptions and this, this one right here, I'll make, I'll make this condition, the 450, I'll make a hundred bucks back on this one right here. So uh, very, very pleased, loving it. Okay. Here's one on Indian motorcycles, the Iron Redskin. This one, uh, I don't think this one's quite as much. This is about a $20 book, this edition. Uh, not, as, not as high value as the others. And then, um, okay, the Ultimate Motorcycle Encyclopedia. Um, that's probably another like $15, $20. This one's not gonna be much either. I think I looked up some of these when I was doing my, my first research and yeah, I don't have this one on here. This wasn't a high dollar one. This was maybe a ten dollar one. Okay, then this uh, JAP. This is uh, um, engines, motors for motorcycles. This one is a great one. I would call this one. Um, this one sells eighty to ninety bucks. This edition looks like there's a little bit of wear here on the back. Um, other than that, excellent condition. Um, I, I should be able to get at least seventy five for this one. So. Another great, great book. All right, that was number one. Now let's open number two. I think I'm doing good so far. I probably have, um, I probably have at least 300 bucks, maybe 350. You know, after fees, um, you know, selling these on eBay, 15%, I'll still be probably at least 300 bucks to the good there. Okay, man, these guys, 
They really did a good job wrapping. Okay, Let's see if I can get one out here without messing it up. Like a kid when you're opening presents and just the paper goes everywhere. Okay. All right, this one was the Norton in the Barn. Okay. Oh, the Vincent in the Barn by Tom Cotter. Okay. This one is, um, yeah, this this is not a real, this one's not really expensive. This is probably, um, uh, this is only about a $10 book. Yeah. Yeah, the Vincent in the Barn. Okay. Now, here's a good one. Francis Burke, A Single Purpose. Uh, talk, man, that's, that's, this one is, uh, I think this one's a good, oh, uh, let's see what my notes were on it. Hmm. Another Jeff Clue book. Yeah. Oh, this one. Oh, this one may be signed. There were a few of these that were signed. No, it doesn't appear to be signed. Yeah, this one's this was a forty, fifty dollar book. Um, great, great one there. Okay, here's the Norton book. This one's by uh, Roy Bacon. It's another Norton motorcycle singles. That's a good thirty bucks. Then we've got oh this one look at here this one's not even open still in its still in its dust like shrink wrap um, oh yeah this is the the rolls molder seventy bucks it's uh, totally maybe even more since it's 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 brand new still in shrink wrap great one British racing motorcycles there's another one this uh, Jeff Clue guy does a lot of stuff so this one is um, oh another another thirty thirty five bucks there. And then, oh, the American Dream. Okay, I think there were there were several. Of, oh yeah, this one uh, has a gift inscription by the author. So um, I've seen this one sell the first edition sell for thirty five and forty with the gift inscription. I should at least get forty for it. Um, maybe more, maybe fifty. And then the final one that was in this one was Super Profile on the Sun Sunbeam S eights and S nines. That's um, that's about a $25, $25 book, so great one there. All right, let's move on. Number three. Okay, oh, I guess instead of tearing it, I could actually unroll it, maybe the way they did it. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see what we got. This unboxing, man, I tell you, got to work for it. Really, I'm pleased so far. I definitely will make my money back. It's just a matter of, it's, a, it's, why, I, it's why I bought them, right? Um, I knew I could make my money back. It's just a decision on how much I can make on it. And man, these things were wrapped. Talk about, they put them in a big box, so I'm glad they did that. It kept them from sliding around individually. Kept, it, kept, them, kept them good and safe, so. Okay, yeah, it's still tight. I should have uh, I should have got some scissors or something, huh? Maybe that like to watch three minutes of me tearing plastic. All right, let's open these up. Good job, maybe, maybe. Okay, well this one's. There we go. Oh wow, look at this one. Allard. Racing cars. Some of it looks like some of the old indie stuff, right? Uh, yeah, this is um, this one was a weird one. I've seen this one listed anywhere from 20 to 100 uh, selling. So I gotta do a little research on this one, find out how much, but at least 20. I, like I said, I've seen it up to 100. So great one. Okay, now we've got this one has a little bit of cover wear on it, looks like. I think they put a little crinkle in it. It's the Fast Women, Women of the Racing. Drivers Who Changed the Face of Motor Racing. Um, John Bullock. This one's, um, I see this one listed for about 50 bucks hardback. So it's got a little bit of surface wear on a, on a jacket. So it's probably only gonna be about 40. So still good. All right, now this one's still in shrink wrap. For gold and glory, kind of a nice, uh, nice book. 
This this particular one I see listed for 20 used. Still in its shrink wrap. Um, it's got a sticker on it of 27.95. So uh, I'll at least I'll still be able to get 20 bucks out of it. Indiana University Press for Gold and Glory. Kind of cool. All right, now this one was this was a fun one here. Uh, I think this one could be. I see this one for at least 50. This one was really hard to find. This Herc, uh, Hurtabice. You know, this is the whole thing about what race car drivers, they uh, they don't have to worry about getting old, right? They they, they love speed and die young. Um, so this was one that I, it was hard to find comps on. I did find find one that was, it was for over 50. So this is at least 50, maybe 70 bucks. So great one. All right. The last one, let's see how long it takes me to unwrap this one. Put, set the stopwatch, see how many minutes, huh? Hopefully not minutes, maybe just seconds. Maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get better at it. Man, this is the way you do it. Okay, don't wanna mess anything up. Oh, this is a beautiful book. Okay, look here. This is awesome. Beautiful. The Afi Killer. The Man Behind the Legend. Look at that. It's a gorgeous book. This particular one, uh, it's it's a hundred bucks. I've seen this one sell for a hundred bucks. The other thing, signed by the author. I've seen it sell a hundred bucks without a signature. So I think I can get a premium for this and it's in gorgeous condition. I just love that cover. It's awesome. All right, king of the boards. This is another one I've seen sell for up to a hundred bucks. Um, oh, there's a, looks like there's a letter in this one. There's, oh, there's a, oh, it's an errata sheet. And look at this one. It's also signed by the author, flat signed with a date. I've seen this one sell for a hundred. Again, I think with the um, with the signature, I think I'll be able to get more than that. I think I'll be able to get flat signed like this, great condition, 120, 130. So now this one is a cool look here, the Curtis Craft story. That's awesome. Uh, I've seen this one sell for 40 bucks, but again. Flat sign, sincerely, not a gift inscription. So this one may, this is great condition, subject matter, and flat signed. I think that instead of 40, I say 40 to 50, I may be able to get this 70 or 80 for this. Um, that's a good one. Okay, and then the last one. This one was kind of, when I was looking at the auction, and looking at the photos, was a little bit of a mystery. Uh, huge book, all right? It's going over a race car driver it's a Russell now it looks like it has a little forward tilt to the spine it's so big you see that some a little bit of edge wear there but it's on this Russell Snowburger all right going over his life now I found this on Amazon I didn't find any comps on eBay uh, it does have a little bit of cover wear but it's also signed by the author right there all right so, a little bit of surface wear, a little, like maybe somebody dropped it and it kind of split the cover just a little bit. Not really split, but definitely damaged it. I see this one listed on Amazon. It's, it's uh, like 400 bucks on Amazon. So even if I get 200 bucks for it, gorgeous, signed, uh, it'll be two to 400 bucks. So, that's all I got, guys. It was, um, there's about 25 of them there. Paid about $18 a piece, again, shipping and all. Uh, fees, the whole nine yards, 450 bucks. Uh, am I crazy? Um, I estimate this is going to be about 12 to 1300 dollars uh, retail. Uh, depending on if this this one Russell Snowburger book goes more expensive, it could even it could even go up to like 1400 bucks. So let's say if I get 1200, I got 450. So I'm down to seven seven fifty. Then eBay fees, if, if it's twelve hundred, it's going to be call it fifteen percent. 
Um, that's another 160 bucks. So, uh, you know, if I was down to 750, I maybe 150. So I should be up at least 600 bucks on these when I when I sell them, and they'll sell. They're, these are great. So a minimum of 600 bucks, um, double more, a little more than double my money. I may may actually get, get surprised on a few of these and. Some of these $50, $60 books will go higher. Some of them go lower. So, I don't know. Maybe a lot of work to, to make that amount. Maybe I'm better off just buying a, a bunch of my regular $1 books and selling them for 10 or 20 So, we'll see. But, love the subject matter. Kind of stuff I like to put in my store. And uh, it, was like, uh, it was like Christmas in uh, April here. So while, you know, you get the package and they're all wrapped and you get to unwrap them and see them. So, lots of fun. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Uh, the subject matter. Maybe we'll see what the comps are and uh, go from there. So, hey, subscribe. Uh, give me some comments. We'd love to hear what you say, think about it. And uh, good luck in your treasure hunts. And like always, you know, you gotta if you see cool, you got to buy cool. And that's why I, so I spent 450 bucks on these. So that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.